Hey, Vincent. Uh, the last couple of weeks, it seems like you've really uh, been able to improve, uh, grade it out at least according to uh, the sites that do that type of thing uh, better uh, over the last two games. What's allowed you to kind of get into a rhythm and be able to improve as you have? Uh, I would just say a better focus and preparation during the practice week, uh, better focus and preparation during meetings and while we're uh, honing in on what the opposing t uh, team does in the throw game. Uh, we've been taking all the criticisms that our coaches give us very seriously and using that to help our game. Uh, what were some of those criticisms that your coaches did give you guys? Uh, getting our, using our hands better at the line of scrimmage and not using our hands down the field to help with body control uh, as we play the route down the field. So that's been helping a lot, uh, helping us stay in control of the receiver and be able to get our eyes back and play the ball. I, I guess to follow up, why do you think some of those things were happening in, in some of the earlier games you guys played this year? Uh, basically, we were just too handsy, just overly – I mean, over, overly physical a little bit. We just got to rely on our on our speed and our just technique instead of just using our hands as much down the field. Uh, next question is from Zach Shaw. Vincent, what are your impressions of Jahan Dotson's season so far? Statistically, it's a nice season. So I guess what have you seen from him? And then what do you think is the key to slowing him down in, in this matchup? Oh, he's been doing very good this season. Um, he's very crafty, very smooth. Um, I like this matchup. I think this will be a great challenge for us overall. And uh, I think keys to stopping him will just be getting our hands on him at the line of scrimmage. I think we can run with him very well. So just making sure that we are patient and we're not, like, like I said before, overly physical with our hands downfield and we're just matching his routes. Is there – you guys have faced a few kind of number one receivers, you know, thinking about Rashad Bateman, Wap Fillier. Bo Melton, is there a common theme when you are facing a guy who you know they're going to target a lot to making sure that you're consistent the whole game? Yes, just making sure that we're locked in, especially when we get that assignment, making sure that we're especially locked in and that we're expecting the ball to be thrown to him every time. So we're like, like when we get that matchup, we are expecting the ball. So just being ready for that opportunity. Our next question here is from Angelique. Vincent, how do you how do you break from being handsy? Like, what do you do in practice to work on that to to break that habit? Uh, well, our coaches does a our coaches do a great job of letting us know when we are doing that, so we stop it immediately, and then we watch it in film as well on the on the day after of the practice before, and that helps us see like what we did and um, when we're doing that, so we can break that habit. It's really just a habit, a bad habit that we have to break. And, and also, uh, Mike Zordich said um, the, uh, last week or so that, that he saw you regain a kind of a bounce in your step, I think, in the Wisconsin game. Did you, did you detect that, or what changed for you emotionally in, in the game? Uh, just being more emotionally invested and, and just taking, taking everything personal, pretty much, and just, uh, just kind of being a little bit more gritty on the field and just not letting anybody get anything. That's kind of the mindset I'm trying to go into every game with moving forward. Next question here is from Ryan Zook. Hi, Vincent. Who do you expect to, to start at quarterback for Penn State on Saturday, and how are you guys preparing for, for whoever does get the start behind center? Uh, from the looks of it, I think I think Cade is going to be, be starting for quarterback for us this Saturday. Uh, either way, they're both very talented, and they both do a good job. Um, they both – I mean, either way, we, I feel like we'll be fine, to be honest. But I think Katie has the – he's got the wheels hurting for the offense right now, and I think they're going to let him keep keep going. Uh, sorry, I, I meant uh, for the Penn, Penn State's quarterback position. Oh, 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 oh my bad. <laughs> uh, I think we're getting uh, 14. Number 14, I think he's their uh, number one guy. But hey. the, both of them, both of them can throw the ball very well, though. Has, has tur have turnovers been a discussion part point for you guys so far this week? I mean, obviously Penn State's had, had some troubles turning the ball over so far this season. Yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much been our biggest focus, to be honest, uh, making sure that we're able to get our eyes back and get our hands on the ball. Uh, that's been our b biggest focus is making plays and uh, taking the ball away from the other team. Uh, 